Good morning, YouTube. <laughs> Good morning, guys. I hope all of you slept well. I hope you had a good day yesterday. I hope you had a good night. Whenever you see this, I hope you have a good day. I hope you have a good night. Oh. I always say this. I can shuffle fine. Especially when I'm doing personal reads. It's so funny because I'm like really quick. And then I get on YouTube and I start shuffling like I've never shuffled before. Something about knowing something is watching you, I guess. Um, yeah, I just want to give you a daily energy check. So this is what I'm going to be calling these readings from now on. A daily energy check for the collective. Nine of cups on the bottom. And the strength card. Okay. We have the Prince of Wands. So a new passionate direction or a chance to go in a new passionate direction. Four of Wands. Oh, wow. Okay. So this could be a wedding. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> there's a lot going on here. Um, yeah, let, let me just show you the cards and then we'll get into it. So two of cups, princess of wands. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, I'm not going to take these, but three of pentacles, two of pentacles, fool and the devil. Oh, there's a lot going on. So somebody is either getting married for certain, you're going to a wedding for certain, now there is cause for celebration, a new contract of some sort, breaking from free from toxic situations, five of cups, so somebody is in regret right now. Maybe possibly in regret over losing you, or you have the Queen of Swords, so yeah. Let me finish pulling these cards and then we'll read the energy. Ooh! Chat. Princess of Pentacles flew out of the deck. Wonder where she's going. <laughs> yeah, the Princess of Cups, the Ace of Swords, which I did see. Princess of Cups. Oh, who is this? That's flipped over. Six of Cups. So I'm getting a sense of a past lover, possible fire sign. Wanting to come back and offer love to someone. I always find this interesting when these turn into love readings. Because for the most part, I don't like give these readings a direction. I just try to pick up on the energies that I feel or that want to be felt. <laughs> Okay, we have our card. The Hermit. Yeah. This started off so good. Okay. 
so I'm not going to take too long to <clears throat> read this energy for you. So some of you could be heading in a new passionate direction or thinking about going back to something or um, trying to um, revive something. This is either an arrival or a departure. With the Four of Wands, this is giving me marriage, um, twin flame energy. I don't really like to use the word twin flame or soulmate because I feel like you can be with anybody at any point in time as long as your morals and your values line up. So cards that I like to see when it comes to a relationship are you know, um, different from the cards that normally I see other readers um, like to see. So if you hear anything in the background, that's my daughter. I apologize. Um, so yes, getting into this, I see someone either trying to come back to a lover or leaving a lover. And I don't have the Eight of Cups, but the way that the uh, page, right? The Prince of Wands, sorry. The, so this is the Knight of Wands, is um, approaching the situation is like a fast... Um, I need to get to this person before it's too late type of vibe that I'm getting. And with the Four of Wands, it's probably because this person senses either that the, the relationship is over, the situation is over, the marriage is over, or what have you. And um, they're approaching this situation like, I need to get there quickly. Because the Knight of Wands is not a very good planner, I wouldn't say. Um, but is is very good at getting there quickly. So the message may get lost along the way. Um, they just know they have to be there first. So with the four of wands, it's like with these two people here. So this person is either sensing that this past love is moving on, moving forward. There's a pending divorce or some type of situation that's coming. Or um, this relationship is dead. There is some sort of cause for cele celebration though um maybe you could be going to a wedding like i said you could be celebrating someone or somebody could be celebrating you but there is an energy here of stability a building up right so um this um yeah this four of wands could also signify a home so somebody could be moving or um buying a home and with the prince of wands that's telling me that it will be quick like you probably from start to finish will be in your home quickly very soon this could be a couple this could be um just a person who's finally found their own like um match within themselves and they are ready for this new endeavor um they may be rushing into it a little bit too quickly but it doesn't look bad um, however this could also be um a relationship in which things start off very quickly and they pick up speed very quickly and people are just mad about it and people are just like in deep regret about it like you know they're thinking to themselves damn what if i treated this person better because these people look very wealthy the home in the background looks very abundant and beautiful so um for these people who are in regret here it's like oh uh, damn like this person or these people have found each other and they are, have moved on with their lives and we're left out in the cold and we're left feeling um all of these feelings of deep remorse deep sorrow deep you know um regret really with the five of cups it's giving me also <clears throat> like the five of cups already signifies like you're stuck on stupid because excuse my french but because there's two cups behind that this person has that's still upright right so they could be worried and focusing on their blessings but they're worried about the things that they've lost so maybe you, you don't have access to these people anymore and if you're the prince of wands who's trying to rush in trying to stop this situation from happening um, you should probably just be focusing on what you do have rather than this person or place or thing that you've lost because you're not getting that back. 
So it's like focus on the things that are within your control. With the Princess of Wands, the Page of Wands, um, this message is going to reach this person somehow, some way. This message is going to be delivered, whether it's me delivering it right now, whether it's by the time they get to this person, they realize, oh crap, it's already too late. Or um, if uh, th this could also be like a message uh, of a passionate new beginning for this person, or just a, a, a new beginning, period. I'm getting new beginnings. This is, for me, um, the Queen of Swords is a, is the divorce card. She's the divorcee, right? I believe that's how you say it. Um, she's divorced. Uh, she has gone through a lot. Um, as you see, she's holding the butterfly. There's butterflies in there, so she's transformed. She's probably She was probably the Queen of Cups or the Queen of Wands or the Queen of um, Pentacles, but now she is the Queen of Swords. She's not afraid to cut out anything that doesn't serve her. So I'm getting a lot of fire, uh, water, and um, air here. Mostly, um, I feel a lot of um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Virgo. Anywho, the Queen of Swords, she um, has gone through a transformation. She has evolved. She now knows who she is, what she wants, and what she's not willing to put up with. And coupled with the Ace of Swords, she is not for the shits, okay? She is not for the games. And this sword is not for play. So maybe this person who wants to come back or wants to head towards this new endeavor that whoever this couple is because this couple is figured strongly or this could possibly be that this person is not even in this type of relationship yet or is heading in this direction like i was saying and someone is coming at this person and it's hard to figure out exactly if it's a masculine or a feminine energy who's coming to, towards them because it, somebody is is rushing they feel a, a sense of urgency that they need to get to whomever it is, whether it's the male or the female in this, this relationship or um, masculine or feminine energy or the lack thereof. They feel like they need to rush in towards this connection, um, whether they feel like it's a connection that they can still salvage or a connection that's um, coming or a connection that's here. But they feel like they need to put a stop to it. They don't even know what they want to say, actually, because they're not. They're not coming up as somebody who has the, the appropriate words or knows exactly what they want out of where they're rushing towards. They're just rushing. Um, but they know that they sense some sort of connection and it's not with them. And they are in deep remorse or deep regret. And with the Queen of Swords, this woman, so I'm assuming this is a woman or a, a feminine energy that the knight of wands is rushing towards the prince of wands because she is like come on i've been waiting which is a little scary if i were this knight of wands i i would i would head in a different direction i would just let it go and move on because this is not the type of card you want to see or the type of energy you want to see when you're rushing towards someone right you don't want to see a calm cool collected person with a sword drawn which means they've already been preparing for you. They know you're heading their way and they have sharp, sharp, sharp wit, words. Um, they have a sharp sense of clarity and they know exactly what it is that they want to say and what it is they want to see and what it is that... Um, that they need to say to you. This could also be like this person is is ready to cut this knight of wands down to size, right? So I'm getting someone who this queen of swords. I'm getting someone who didn't get here by being stupid, pretty much. So I would be very cautious <laughs> when dealing with this energy. I would be very cautious because they didn't get there by being stupid. With the Princess of Cups, 
the page of cups so they still feel some sense of love but they're they're probably hiding that right they're they're hiding the the fact that they um still have some sort of feelings for um this energy but it's not so much that they're hiding it it's that they know that this was an immature thing this was probably when they were younger um but now they're wiser right like i said the queen of swords could have been the queen of cups at one point so but in all true honesty i guess this is a love that never really matured it's a love that never really um got off the ground because the princess of cups signifies the page of cups right so the page of cups is like offering that cup of love that fish in the cup so this person was even if that's all they had was a fish they were willing to offer it and um it wasn't respected it wasn't appreciated and so um they took that love back and now they're wiser and now they're they're able to see through um whatever this knight of wands is trying to come to offer them now with the ace of swords somebody is getting a harsh dose of truth a harsh dose of truth because it's coming straight from kether right it's coming straight from the crown um and it, it is a clear 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 message basically like i keep seeing and keep saying stay back you don't want to approach this person especially with the ace of swords and the queen of swords together combined she already has a sword so it's like whichever way you turn she's got some truth for you that you need to be prepared for you need to be um ready to receive otherwise um don't even approach her and with the knight of wands approaching in such a way um this is not going to end very well the overall message for um this reading in my opinion is the hermit it's the advice really go within um move on uh find your inner light your inner guide um whoever this is that's approaching this potential couple or this potential romantic relationship like i i don't know what's going on in other people's lives right now i don't know what um they're feeling or sensing or what um what you guys may be going through but I, i'm getting a strong sense of a knight of wands trying to approach a couple or trying to approach a situation in which they feel like somebody is already coupled or that they are probably unified within that they don't need them anymore right or they feel like they're not wanted or needed and and they're trying to come in and and deliver whatever kind of message like it, this could also be an offer like an offer to go in a different direction an offer like this is probably the message that they want to bring in like you know let's let's create a new path together but they're gonna find that their offer is rejected which is something i feel like they should already know that their offer will be rejected um but if they don't know this i, I don't really know what to tell them because um i feel like i'm speaking to a specific person i hope this is not for me <laughs> you never know what these these cards and venus is retrograde so it will be bringing back all those past lovers who you're over and done with and they just don't want to get the message so um if this is for me i hope i'm delivering a message to somebody <laughs> i'm not interested i don't know um if you guys are interested in and in past people coming back but it just makes no sense to me it's like you had me you lost me and now you want me back you make no sense like that's just me i don't know about other people um so yeah let's get some clarifying cards for this overall message this this hermit here and oh crap <laughs> it's like I get a, ooh, okay. Yeah, this is somebody from the past. 
this is somebody from the past who sees that you're probably single, doing it by yourself, doing it alone, doing very well. If this is for me, I hope I'm delivering a message. I'm all set. Um, if this is for somebody else, I apologize. I just had to throw that in there because I'm like, uh, uh six of cups. If this is for somebody else. Um, if this is for any of you, if you, all, any of you resonate with this, somebody from the past is coming back. They're trying to come back and offer you some sort of love, a passionate new direction. They have a message that they want to deliver to you. But I, I feel like you're embodying the energy of the Queen of Swords and the Ace of Swords. So you're not for the shits, especially with the Nine of Pentacles here. You're you're pretty good. You're not even just pretty good. You're amazing. You're doing swimmingly by yourself. You don't need this energy. Don't accept this person back into your life because you know their toxicness. I mean, toxicity. You know their toxic behavior. You know the things that they bring. You know this person very well. And even if they're not toxic, even if the relationship ended um, on a good note, on a good footing, I would say don't look back. If if it was really meant to be, like, um, I guess they say if you let something go and it comes back to you, you'll never know. But I, I'm not that person. So I can only tell you um, what I would do. I can't tell you what to do, but um, I wouldn't go back. The past is of the past. Uh, let it go. Let it be. Um, so the message for the, the hermit here is that, yeah, this person senses that you've gone within. This person senses that you are fo fine following, sorry, you're guiding, you're guiding light. Mercury is retrograde. I keep saying the like the other day I did a reading and, and had the nine of cups and was like the nine of pentacles. Bear with me. So the hermit card is saying that you um, have gone within. You have find, found your guiding light. You are following your nor north star. You are following your purpose, your truth, your path. And this person sees that from where that, wherever it is that they see it. So I don't have the page of swords here or other cards that would indicate that this person is spying, but they probably are um, because they see you in some way. How would they know that you quite possibly have some l love offer coming or they sense this or even it, they could have gotten word of this? I have no idea, but it is directly related to the possibility of you finding your true mate, right? Um, and they're trying to come in and offer you nonsense. So they, so sorry, my alarm just went off. So <laughs> I, I don't do readings early in the morning. And now I'm doing it early in the morning. Everything is going all over the place. So I'm trying to roll with it. Um, so just to close out this message. So you have the nine of pentacles. This person sees you as abundant. They see you doing well by yourself. They see you single and taking care of home and taking care of everything that you need to take care of. And they see you doing well. And because they see you doing well, they're going to try to come back in and give you all of this love and all of this. They're basically trying to love bomb you. They're coming back and they're trying to tell you about all the memories you shared and all the things that happened before. And they're trying to bring up the past in a, in a positive light. But we know that it isn't um, in the way that uh, this person is envisioning it, embodying it, or showing it. Um, it's just that this is what they want you to see. This is what they want you to remember. This is how they want you to remember them when in all actuality, they probably were pretty toxic. And if they weren't toxic, it's over and it's done with anyways. There's a new beginning. Um, just, just take that leap of faith and go in a new direction without this person. You don't need this person, whomever it is. That's, that's just my advice. I'm gonna pull one more card and then we're gonna close this out. Yeah. So they're feeling trapped. They're feeling stuck. They're feeling like um, things are not going in the way that they wanted to go, and so that's why they're approaching you. It's not because they still love you. I don't. I, I keep in mind I haven't gotten any like love cards at all. <laughs> got the two of cups and the four of wands for a new relationship because I didn't I mean this this person is divorced so this person is in separation from someone and I'm getting the sense that the person they're in separation from is the one that's trying to come back because they sense that some this person is heading in a different direction this queen of swords so with the ace of eight of swords it's because they feel trapped it's because they feel like um you know, they, they're stuck or they could be imprisoned somehow, some way in their mind and their um, actual physical reality. So um, that is that is the reason why they're approaching you. So um, that is the message that I have for you guys for this morning. I apologize for all of the noise and all of the um, 
I apologize. Um, but we rolled with it. We um, kind of just let the chips fall where they may. That's my advice. This person is basically all of those things were just distractions, right? They're just trying to distract me from delivering the message to you that I needed to deliver to you. So I keep that in mind when this person approaches you, if this person approaches you. And if this is, like I said, if it, this is for me, don't approach me at all. Don't approach me at all. If you are a past relationship, past person, whatever you think you're coming to find is not what you're going to find. I'm not interested. I don't want it. I don't need it. And I'm making sure to put it in this message for you to see that I'm just not interested. Thank you. Um, but, you know, uh, thank you for the lessons. Um, so I could hear a lot of you saying that to this person. Yeah, you know, thank you for the lessons. But I am defending my heart, defending my love, my self-love. I don't need love from others because I know that I love myself. And if somebody is coming in my direction and they don't have self-love and they're just codependent and they're bringing in their toxic energy or they're breadcrumbing or narcissistic in any capacity which i've already discovered and uncovered i'm not interested but um it's up to you guys what you want out of your life it's up to you what direction you want to go that's the message that i have for you today like share subscribe comment and um i'll catch you guys in the next video thank you bye bye love you guys <laughs>